Specifically for malignant brain tumors, our entire research program is beneficial to patients because they have access to newer treatments earlier on. So we start thinking about whether the patient wants to participate and receive a, a newer medicine that's a part of a research program. For things that can be put in the brain, we have the, the scorpion toxin medicine that's been, been tried. This is a natural compound or a derivative of a natural compound that delivers a very high dose of radiation. Dr. Sundheimer here at UAB made some initial observations. He was studying glioma physiology and how glioma cells move and migrate and do other things and realized that not only did this have an effect on an ion channel in the glioma cells, but also had an effect on the, the growth of the gliomas. The herpes viruses are being studied at several laboratories here at UAB as part of the overall gene therapy research. The herpes virus is a cousin of the virus that can cause herpes encephalitis, so that's something we don't want to happen to patients, but the viruses themselves can attack the tumor cells preferentially and cause their cell death. So we're trying to change the viruses or change the DNA of the viruses in order to make them safer but more specific to the tumor. The SPORE program is a recognized National Cancer Institute program, very significant funding to move discoveries that are being made in the laboratory into the early phase clinical trials so that patients can benefit with what we learn in the lab and then test that very specifically in patients. Also, it's looking at how can we get the information back into the laboratory from the patient so that we take the patient's tumor, we analyze it, and we give a specific targeted treatment. One of the projects that's come out of the brain spore that I've been more involved in for brain tumors is the death receptor the antibody therapy. And this is promoting a mechanism of natural cell death in brain tumors. Apoptosis or programmed cell death is the way that your body gets rid of cells it doesn't need. This natural mechanism of cell death could be used to kill tumors as well. And the antibody that's been developed at UAB has the potential to help radiation and help chemotherapy for a lot of different tumors to cause this program cell death pathway to occur. We're ready, hopefully, to go into clinical trials when funding becomes available for that. In terms of the Ivy Foundation, they're looking at genomic research and genomic predictors that whether the tumor would respond to certain treatments. So we want to be able to predict, does a patient have a better or worse prognosis, but also which medicines would be helpful. We've been involved in the NABIT Brain Tumor Consortium. That's a NCI-sponsored group of about 10 institutions that do brain tumor research. And so there's all the big research hospitals in, in brain tumors are participating in these types of clinical trials, and UAB is one of those. And I'm, I'm proud to be participating in those studies. Moving forward, the other advantage to UAB participating, particularly in things like the Ivy Foundation program, is we'll have specific genomic endpoints to look at for the patient-specific tumor. So maybe we can pick the next treatment based on their, the genes of their tumor and the proteins of their tumor to see how it would respond better, at least predict which medicines would be more likely to work. The future discoveries for brain tumors are going to be very specifically on the biology of brain tumors, whether a specific protein is overreactive or a cell signaling pathway is overreactive. And so some of the, the newer medicines are targeting very specific cell signaling pathways. And so we hope we could biopsy a tumor in the future and learn why that specific tumor is growing just for that tumor and give a cocktail of medicines that hopefully would be non-toxic but have a very strong impact on the tumor because it's customized for that patient. Mm -hmm.